And you're very welcome back. Chrissy Gibson from Take the Cake is back and taking over the kitchen again. Now, today she's brought us an Austrian breakfast that none of us can pronounce. A Kaiser Schmarm. <laughs> good, very good attempt. That was it. No, <laughs> that, that, it? that wasn't it, but close. OK. There's only, there are two ways to spell it, but only one way to say it. Oh! Kaiser Schmarm. Schmarm. Kaiser Schmarm. This is my favourite thing from Austria. Is it? It is so good. Now, it can be dessert or breakfast. I'm used to having it for dessert. I, it might more traditionally be served in Austria as breakfast, but I haven't been to Austria. I'm not sure. OK. OK, so if so you like sweet, we're this gonna, is what you have. Yeah, it's lovely. So we're gonna, it's, a, it's a souffléed pancake Ooh, is what it is. Very posh. OK. This we're gonna sounds start. difficult. With the word souffle it, it, in it? It's a little busy, but you don't have to be afraid of it. It's, it's, it's actually pretty straightforward. Doable. So we're going to start with four eggs, and we're going to separate the whites from the yolks. Okay, now we're going we're gonna to get going on the yolks first. So what we're going to do is we're starting with 35 grams of raisins. For Kaiser Schmarrn, I like to use golden raisins. Now, uh, for his liege today, Aiden, I left the raisins out of yours. Is that Austrian? I think so. You call it a leech or a, a it's leech? A, it's a town in Belgium. <laughs> exactly. It's a leech. Yeah. No, for Simon, you guys don't have raisins today. You can make it with or without Ooh, raisins. You normally have raisins, but she left them out for me. Okay. Yeah, just for you, Simon. She's a lovely woman. Oh. Big fan of your work. So, raisins, 35 grams and also 35 mils of rum. I like to use oh. dark rum, loads of flavor. We're going to soak those for about 10 minutes while we get going and do the rest. Okay, we're just, we're just going to set those aside. Now, Four egg yolks. Like I mentioned, we separate the eggs. So let's start with the yolks. To them, we will add uh, 50 grams of sugar. We're using white sugar, granulated or castor. And in the entire dish, uh, the entire Kaiserschmarrn, the pancake part, there's only 150 grams of sugar. So it's actually Gosh. not that sweet. So it's good for you. We're starting with this guy just loaded yeah, with the good stuff. Yeah, it's good for you. So we're starting with 50 grams of sugar. We're going to add that to our four egg yolks, all right? We're also taking five mils of pure vanilla extract, okay? I like to avoid using vanilla essence where I can. Mm -hmm. So we're adding our vanilla to that. Now, creme fraiche. This is mostly creme fraiche and egg, all right? We're using 240 grams of creme fraiche. And we're going to whisk that in. And you'll notice that, excuse that, you'll notice that the texture turns quite creamy. This will take a minute, so just keep on stirring it around. Mm. We're, gonna, we're gonna pretend like our raisins have soaked for a full 10 minutes. Yes, which they okay. have, absolutely. TV yeah. time, guys, mm -hmm. all right? So we're gonna add 20 grams of flour. And that's all the flour in this pancake. Okay. Okay, it's, it's, it's nothing, really. 20 grams of self-raising flour. A suggestion flour. of flour. Exactly. Just look at the bag and exactly. then look away. Yeah. So 20 grams mm. of self-raising flour. And I'm going to take this rum, just a spoonful of it, before I drain the raisins. I'm going to add a little bit of the rum. Well done. Okay. And well then done. we're going to drain the raisins. Now, here I have my 35 grams of drained raisins, which soaked for a full 10 minutes. Mm -hmm and we're gonna whisk that up. Now that's how we start. Then we move on to the egg whites. Do you remember how we separated those yes. eggs? Now I've cheated a little bit and I've started this going. We're going to whip these up into, as, as Simon likes to say, stiff peaks. So we're gonna whip these up into stiff peaks and we're adding just a few things to them. And we're gonna add just a pinch of salt, just a pinch, okay? And. Uh, we're going to add a, about a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, okay? Chrissy, could you add anything else to the batter of, as, as opposed to raisins? Aiden, he's about to ask me about chocolate chips. Could you oh, add chocolate ahead. chips? Yeah, he's telegraphed that one. You can see it coming a mile off. Talk, I just wanted to give you a bit of... Talk to the if, hand. If you were making a lasagna, he'd ask you the same question. <laughs> honest to God, honest to God, I don't know what it is about me and chocolate chips. Every time he sees me, it's got to be chocolate chips. So we whip up, we whip up our egg whites. I'll get that as a no that. then. Just go back on the last pinch you put in there, which yep. was cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. It was about a, a quarter teaspoon, which is it, there's not a lot of weight to cream of tartar. It's less than a gram. So I like to use just a, a tiny little spoon. Okay. Okay. About a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar and a pinch of salt. So we whip up our egg whites with 100 grams of sugar. Earlier I said that there's 150 grams of sugar altogether yeah. in this. We added 50 yeah. over there. Yeah. So we're gonna add 100 grams over here. I'm gonna add just a little bit at a time. I do it in two steps, one, two. 
Now we've got all the sugar in. Now when we have a nice stiff meringue, what we do is we fold it into this mixture that we have, okay? Now, You're not going to do the hold over your head thing and make sure it's sad of you? you sure, come on over. No, no, Is no, that no. the test? Well, you... with social distancing, we can't. Yeah, you hold on it over your side. head. Sure, we can do it. <laughs> you, you hold the ball over your head normally, don't you, Chrissy? And then ease it off your face? <laughs> yeah. Simon does. Yeah. <laughs> so now we mix these two together, just uh, folding in the egg whites to... The, uh, so the, you're trying the to keep mixture. the air in there, Chrissy. Exactly. Okay. When I'm folding something in, I like to scrape the sides as I go, you yeah. know? And you might find that you have some, some little, little uh, pieces of egg white. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Even, you know, don't worry about that. So that's our batter. We take a casserole dish. You don't want one that's too shallow because you don't want this to uh, overflow in the oven. Take 20 grams of butter. You can use a brush, you can use a paper towel or a piece of foil from the butter, and you're gonna just butter your pan. Now, Simon will know that when you bake a cake, you often will flour that butter. Yeah. That's not what we're gonna do today. We're going to sugar oh, our well butter. Oh, well done, well okay? done. So, just put a little bit of sugar in here, and then we're going to coat, I just got sugar everywhere. We're gonna coat the pan with sugar, okay? And that is what we're going to bake our Kaiser Schmarren in. We're using a hot oven, okay? Depending on how hot your oven is, you might want to do this for uh, 10 minutes. You might want to do it for 15. The, the sweet spot on my oven at home is 13 minutes. Are you looking for a, a, a big rise on it, Chrissy, or just a gentle, or, you know, when do you know it's done? Uh, it isn't, it isn't massive, no. Okay. Um, like this, I, I'm not, you see, this is just over a half full and I'm not worried about it. So mm. it's not gonna make it to yeah. the top of that dish. So it's a hot oven, 220. Oh. You're gonna bake it for 10 to 15 minutes. You want it to be nice and golden brown on top, okay? So I'm gonna take this one out. I'm gonna let it sit while I finish the last step. And boys, I want you to- We'll uh, tuck in, will we? Just, yeah. Taste what you've got. Mm -hmm. The last Thank step you. is to make your strawberry compote, okay? And what we do is we take 300 grams of strawberries, we uh, saute them on high oh with about uh, 30 mils of orange juice, 25 grams of white sugar again, just a bit of vanilla, and if you, ha if you use a fresh orange, you can use a little bit of the zest. Okay, 25 grams of sugar, that's it. And then a little squeeze of lemon juice. What do you think of that? Lies the feather. Oh. Isn't that nice? A bit like myself, yeah. So, in this strawberry compote, I'm just sauteing strawberries, sugar, vanilla, orange juice, and a bit of lemon juice, okay? Oh, that's wow, so beautiful. So, when you want to go to serve it, you put the strawberries on the bottom like this, okay? Yeah. And then you take two spoons, and you scoop out your Kaiser oh, Schmarrn, yeah. okay? And you flip it over Thank onto you, the strawberries. Isn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. That is delicious. And then some castor uh, icing on top. Icing sugar Great on top. recipe. Thank oh, you, generous. Chrissy. Beautiful. Chrissy, amazing stuff. Well done. Glad and you like it. Tastes oh. so beautiful as well. Full recipe details are on our website, or as ever, do check out takethecake.ie for more of Chrissy Stockus and additional recipes.